Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about what is the monetary theory of business cycle and Keynesian theory of business cycle for UGC net. First of all, we are going to talk about what is the monetary theory of business cycle. According to what is the monetary theory of business cycle, main cause of trade cycle is change in money supply. According to Hotre's monetary theory of business cycle, main cause of trade cycle is change in money supply. For example, money supply increase. As a result, bank credit will also increase. When bank credit increase, interest rate fall because now bank have more money to give loans. As a result, they will reduce interest rate so that people can take more money from banks as a loan. When interest will reduce, people will take more money from banks for investment purpose because now interest rate is very low. That's why people will take more money from banks for investment purpose. As a result, investment will increase in economy. As investment will increase in economy, that means our economy will move towards expansion path of business cycle. On the other hand, when money supply fall, bank credit also fall, interest rate increase. As a result, investment fall. When investment fall, our economy will move towards recession and depression path of business cycle. Now we will see how investment lead to expansion path of business cycle. Suppose interest rate fall. As a result, people will take more loans from banks for investment purpose. So investment in capital goods will increase and high investment in capital goods will lead to higher output and higher output will increase employment in economy because we need more employees for production purpose. As a result, employment will increase. As employment increase, national income increase. As national income increase, demand of goods and services will also increase. Obviously, now our income is high. We have more money. We will buy more goods and services. As demand increase, prices also increase. As prices increase, profit of producer also increase. And this increased profit will motivate producer to do more investment, to do more production. As a result, investment production will increase in economy, employment, income, demand, price, profit, everything will increase. And ultimately, our economy will move towards expansion path of business cycle. And this part shows expansion path of business cycle. Now we will see how economy move towards recession and depression path of business cycle. During expansion, people income was very high. That's where they were doing expenditure on domestic as well as foreign goods. If they are doing expenditure on foreign goods, that means our import is increasing. If our imports are continuous increasing, that means our money supply is going in other country, our money is going in other country. It somewhere reduce money supply in our country. If money supply reduce in our country, that means bank credit also increase, uh, reduce. So banks will increase uh, interest rate, eventually investment will fall. Second reason is that during uh, expansion, banks were giving loans to so many investors for investment purpose. And after a certain time period, they realize their bank reserve or their cash reserve are reducing. So they reduce their bank credit and increase interest rate. When they increase interest rate, investment fall. When investment fall, output fall, output fall, employment fall, employment fall, income fall, income fall, demand fall, demand fall, prices fall. So here you can see all positive economic indicator are reducing. As a result, economy will move towards recession and depression phase of business cycle. This part shows recession and depression phase of business cycle. But how recovery start in economy? During depression, investor was not taking loans from banks. As a result, their cash reserve increase. As cash reserve increase, they increase bank credit and reduce interest rate. As interest rate reduce, investment increase because now people start taking loans from banks for investment purpose. As investment increase and output, employment, income, demand, profit, everything start increasing. It means now our economy start recovering. So this will be called recovery phase of business cycle and this part shows recovery phase of business cycle. So in Hothre theory we will see main cause of fluctuation in economic activities change in money supply. Now we will see Keynesian theory of trade cycle. According to this theory main cause of business cycle is fluctuation in investment. According to this theory main cause of business cycle is fluctuation in investment. And investment mainly depend on marginal efficiency of capital. What is marginal efficiency of capital? Marginal efficiency of capital means the profit expectation from given investment. How much profit we expect from given investment is called a marginal efficiency of capital. 
when margin efficiency of capital will increase means profit expectation from investment increase obviously investment will also increase when margin efficiency of capital fall investment will also fall now we understand this theory with the help of phases of business cycle during expansion investor are very optimistic they are investing more and more money in market because their margin efficiency of capital is very high that means their expectation about profit is very high so they were investing more and more money in market but as expansion proceed we move towards peak this is maximum economic growth point our economy cannot grow beyond this point this is maximum economic growth point but why our economic growth stop now because during expansion so many investor were invested obviously they were demanding factor of production but uh, supply of factor of production is limited as a result prices of factor of production increase prices of labor increase prices of raw material increase prices of land increase if prices of factor of production is increasing that means cost of factor of production is, is increasing if cost of factor of production is increasing that means profit of investor is reducing if profit of investor is reducing that means their margin efficiency of capital is reducing second reason is that during expansion phase of business cycle money demand was very high and high money demand increase interest rate and increase interest rate make investment project very unprofitable if investment project are unprofitable that means margin efficiency of capital is reduced as we know investment is very important for economic growth during expansion investment was continuous increasing because marginal efficiency of capital was very high if investment increasing that means um, output employment uh, income everything is increasing as a result our economy is growing during expansion but during peak our economic growth become maximum because factor cost of investor was increasing if factor cost of investor was continuous increasing that means their margin efficiency of capital is continuous reducing as a result investment will reduce when investment reduce output reduce output reduce employment reduce employment reduce income reduce so eventually we move towards a recession and depression phase of business cycle no question is that how recovery will start in economy as we know during depression investment was very low that's why existing capital equipment become obsolete it's need some replacement so investor decided to do some replacement investment plus during depression interest rate was very low and this low interest rate motivate investor to take more loans from bank and invest more money in business as a result investment increase in economy as we know when investment increase output employment income also increase now recovery start in our economy so this is all about hotre monetary theory of business cycle and keynesian theory of business cycle i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care